Chip Gruners and welcome to my latest update or fondly known as how to cycle 114 miles without any bike training. Cue something. Oh yes, 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 yes. Chip, Chip Gruners and welcome, welcome, welcome to my latest vlog. And I really do appreciate you coming here. My name's Donato, aka The Running Guru and welcome to The Running Guru channel. And I'll be just giving a quick update. Um, on a number of things and for those of you who regularly come to my channel a warm welcome and thank you for coming here so often and if you are new please consider a cons <laughs> if you are new to my channel please do consider subscribing because there's going to be so many updates in terms of gadget updates new to me also in terms of my iron guru challenge and also the road to chicago marathon this October. Yeah, Chicago, Chicago, let's go. So yes, Gruners, my Iron Guru Challenge, the triathlon that I made up all by myself, um, because I do like Iron Brew um, as a drink. So I set up the Iron Guru, three challenges. Uh, the first one was the uh, Parish Walk in the Isle of Man, uh, which I completed a couple of weeks ago. It's coming up to almost three weeks ago I completed that. And uh, there'll be a link up there and you can watch that uh, vlog. Last weekend, on the Sunday, oh yes, here's the medal to prove it as well, the Lighthouse Challenge, which was on the Sunday, here's the uh, bib that I had, 303, it's pretty good, isn't it? You sort of turn it upside down, it still says 303, sort of, you know what I mean. Anyway, the Lighthouse Challenge, yes, 103 miles, it's, it's, let's just say that was one hell of a tough challenge for a number of reasons. Why was it tough for me? Um, tough for two reasons. One is I didn't have a bike, so I had to borrow a bike and kindly supplied to me by Cycle360, those lovely chaps here at the uh, bike shop, loaned me uh, one of their personal bikes. So uh, yeah, I uh, borrowed a bike and I got to try it on the Thursday of last week, so just a couple of days before. So I had a little cycle out to try out the uh, camera kit and stuff and things just to see how it works and obviously wash my kit because I had no cycle kit before so I had to make sure as you know like with running you don't want to try new kits just in case certain things happen and chafing and all that kind of stuff but I won't go into that detail and the other reason why it was tough is I obviously not having had a bike I had no cycle training so I hadn't done any training so how the hell did I complete 103 miles well actually on the day I had over just over five miles to cycle to the start of the race and then when I finished the 103 mile epic um, lighthouse challenge, I had a little over five miles to cycle back. Interesting enough, the cycle back was all uphill. And the route was incredible. If you haven't seen the uh, vlog of the um, lighthouse challenge, I highly recommend watching that. It, it, I had such a brilliant time. It was tough, it was challenging. That's why I say it was the toughest challenge for me so far. And I'm wearing the shirt just to show all the mountains. And I'm sure anyone who's completed the full circle of the lighthouse challenge will know how tough it is. Some of those climbs were incredible. I'll, I'll, I won't use the expletives that were used, but um, it began with B and ended with TARD and all those types of so short. I mean, I won't go through all of them and blow by blow, but if you're a cyclist and you want to do a challenge and a real, really tough challenge, I would highly recommend this. Get over to the Isle of Man. And as you see from that vlog, it's at the time of year that the weather was glorious, maybe a bit too hot, but uh, I put the sun cream on and drunk lots of fluids. I think I got through about six liters of water and drinks and energy stuff and ate lots of food. And what was brilliant about it is where there was three fueling stops um, all spread out across the uh, island. And, and I, as you've probably seen on the vlog, I did fill my face with lots of sandwiches, sausages, and, and all sorts of food that was, I was just eating because at the end of the day, I was expending a lot of calories. I managed to get round, according to my uh, timing slip here, I managed to get round in uh, eight hours and 23 minutes. Obviously that's uh, excluding the stops. I think including the stops, official, unofficial ones, I think it was more around uh, 8.47 minutes, 8 hours 47, so it was a long day. And as I say, that excludes the five miles there and the five miles back. So making a total of 114 odd miles in total. So yeah, as you can imagine, it's now Thursday. I'm beginning to get my energy back and feeling there was lots of points there where I was feeling a bit dizzy. And even on the Monday, I still hadn't fully recovered when I was back at work. and. 
yeah, I, I feel more recovered now. I've done a couple of runs I'm back out because obviously I need to train ready for my uh, third part of the Iron Guru Challenge, which is the Isle of Man Half Marathon. Uh, and there's the marathon as well. I won't be running the marathon because I'm in training for the uh, Chicago Marathon. So as part of my training, I'm not going to run another marathon. As part of that training for me, I'll do the uh, half marathon. So that'll be challenge number three of the Iron Guru Challenge. So that alone means you need to subscribe again. So I'll, I'll hopefully be filming that as well and going around. And that'll be in the first, uh, I can't remember the exact date, sort of beginning of August. But lesson learnt about the uh, Lighthouse Challenge. Sometimes naivety is really good um, because I didn't really know what I'd let myself in for. Um, so I was very naive going into the uh, challenge. And yeah, it's 103 miles. It's a long way. Um, lots of climbs. I wasn't expecting the climbs to be so brutal. Um, but it was more for me the descents in terms of because I've not really ridden a bike in many, many years, and this was a borrowed bike, and it was a top, top bike. I mean, it's a Cube C62 race, carbon fibre. I think it's about £3,000 worth of kit uh, for my Canadian friends. I think it's about 6000 Canadian dollars. I don't know how many US dollars for my US friends, but it was a lot of money, and it's an expensive bike, a fast bike. So it's great going up the mountains, but coming down, a bit too fast for me, so lots of brakes were being applied all the way through. It had disc brakes, it was fantastic. It felt so good, but obviously after a number of hours, as you can imagine, down there, it was getting a bit numb and sore. I won't go into all those details. During the parish walk, I needed uh, a number of these, or I should have put them on compedes for the blisters on my feet. During the cycling, I was so grateful for these gloves with the uh, gel protections on my hands here, on the palms. These had gone so red raw, there were sort of blisters beginning to appear um, on both hands. Because it was just <laughs> shaking and battering and all that kind of stuff on the roads. As you can imagine, it was in an incredible challenge. But I did love it. I mean, especially at the point where I took a wrong turn and ended up on Laxey Beach. I so felt like it was glorious blue skies. The sea looked so inviting. It was a nice, beautiful beach, and I just felt like just leaving the bike and going for a swim in the sea, just to cool down. But uh, I just carried on and, and finished the uh, ride, because I think going into uh, the uh, Irish Sea, and as, as refreshing as it may have been, I don't think it might have been the best idea for me to uh, continue that race in that way, but it's fantastic. And as I said on the actual vlog, if you are looking for an incredible bike challenge, I would highly recommend that, and, uh, and it was great. And the beauty uh, of doing the ride is having my new uh, Garmin Phoenix 5, I logged my longest ride. Yay! So there's lots of uh, records broken on that. So I seriously did enjoy it. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, onwards and onwards to the next set of training. So yes, my friends, I mentioned about the uh, next sets I'm going through over the next coming weeks, months in no particular order, or it might be in a particular order. I'll be going for a VO2 max test, uh, you know, the full mask and oxygen intake and all that kind of stuff with a proper professional and uh, just to see what it is because I think some of these devices might not be too spot on and, and accurate. So I need to have a look in terms of how my fitness level is right now and what kind of training and how I can push myself. So again, worth a subscribe if you want to see how that went and how that's going to get go through. So there's the VO2 max testing. Also coming up will be regarding my Phoenix Phoenix 5. Shall I take this off so you can see? It's it's a great piece of kit. And if you've not seen my unboxing, have a look at the uh, unboxing. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece of uh, machinery kit. It does so many things on it. I'm just discovering lots of things on there. So I'll be doing a review in more detail of things I've found on here, what I'm going to be uh, using it for. But one of the things that will be happening, hopefully in the next week or so, is I'll do what they call a lactate threshold test. So I'll be trying out um, a lactate threshold test on this thing, and I'll go through how, how that works works for me. But it's, it's great. I have this on all the time, 24-7. Uh, so it's recording my uh, sleep, my heart rate pattern throughout the day, and it does all sorts of amazing, wonderful things, which I, I think uh, are great. Um, I'm a little unsure about the price. Obviously, I got it at a good deal, 
But for those who are buying them new, I know that the Phoenix 5 Plus is out. And when I see prices of uh, $1,000 for those, I do think, mm, you, you know, come on Garmin <laughs> and all the other manufacturers out there. The prices do seem a little bit on high. What's your views on the prices of these uh, gadgets and uh, what you use them for? Is there a bit too much? Too low, too high, do you think it's reasonable? Obviously we all have a choice, we don't have to buy these and we can use whatever devices, but I'd be interested in your feedback at the price of these uh, gadgets. So over the coming weeks I'll be doing talks more about the Garmin and the uh, lactate threshold test, because that's something I've not seen before and I thought I'd try it out, let's see how it works. And of course, last but not least, I'll be going finishing off the third of my challenges of the Iron Guru Challenge and building up towards the Chicago Marathon in October, which I'm seriously looking forward to because I've heard that the Chicago pizzas are amazing, so I can't wait to get some Chicago pizza down my neck. I might even um, take part in some other events through the weekend that's going on there. I don't know yet. I tend to just plan things last minute to see how I feel, how things are going. The only thing that is planned is that I will be running the Chicago Marathon for the first time ever for myself and I can't wait. It will be the fourth of my marathon majors and so so far I've done, um, if you've seen, oh, Oh, I had a bit of an itch on my nose there. So yeah, it'll be my fourth of the marathon majors um, that uh, I would have completed in uh, ooh, a little under 12 months. So last year I'd done New York in November, followed by uh, Boston in <laughs> that brutal weather. Uh, wind, rain, it was, it was, oh, it was amazing. And then London in that hot, hot weather. And now I'll be doing Chicago and hopefully it'll be somewhere in between. A bit like, you know, the three bears where they have the porridge, one was too hot, one was too cold, and one was just right. Maybe, Fingers crossed, Chicago will be just right. Yeah? Who knows? We can't change the weather, so whatever happens, happens. All I can guarantee you is that I'll be really enjoying my training between now and October and doing all sorts of stuff. So, as I mentioned, that's what's going to be happening. So, so my friends, in summary, Thank you so much for uh, listening and watching all this. I thought I'd just give a quick update, you know, the old talking head to the camera, something simple, effective, to the point. And thank you so much for watching and listening. I hope you did enjoy it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you've got some comments, feedback, please leave them below and I'll make a point of answering all of them. And, uh, and also, if you are new, as I said at the beginning, I highly recommend to subscribe and to keep updated in all my shenanigans and adventures going on here and around the world. So thank you so much, take care, and I'll see you next time. Woo! Do you like my jazz hands? Oh, yes, 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 y